Hey guys, today we're going to be replacing, uh, or not replacing, but repacking bearings on my little John boat trailer. If they need it, they may not need it, but we're going to find out here. I'm going to show you how I do it. Take a little screwdriver. Go around my little groove right there. Get it started. Oh yeah, they're gonna need it. Lord, they're full of water. That ain't good. We may be buying some bearings here. Yeah, we'll take them out here and see what they look like. Don't look too good right there. They don't feel bad. <clears throat> Shouldn't be full of water though. Yeah, I think that's just on the surface. I think they're all right. We'll have to clean them up and see what they look like. <clears throat> yeah, and the way I do it, I put my nut back on. Thread it up pretty good there. Gonna make grease off my hand. And you can take your bearing right up to the edge. You can feel your nut and just pull it and rotate it. Pull it and rotate it. Pull it and rotate it. And that'll pull your other bearing off with your uh, seal on it. Man, that shouldn't have water in it like that. Shouldn't have water in it like that. Well, I think I know the problem why my driver's side bearing is bad and why my passenger side bearing is not bad. I don't know, but that's what I suspect. This is one of my original caps. Grease is still good inside. Both seals were good. And this is a cap I got from the auto parts. I think I got it last year. I lost one of my other caps off my driver's side. I think that's letting water in. Because it didn't fit quite as well as my original cap did. They seem to be the same size, but it's just, you know, it's not sealing. So what I'm gonna do when I put it back, I'm gonna clean it up good. I think I'm gonna put some sealing on it, probably on both of them, and seal it good. See if that helps. Give it a try, I may not hurt. And what else I'm gonna do, I actually uh, had some bearings that are good. The passenger side bearings are good. They either got just a, a little spot, uh, spot there, but the, all the needle bearings, roller bearings are good. Still got the old grease in them, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some uh, mineral spirits. Put it in a container. Put my old bearings in them. Take an old paintbrush or toothbrush. Go over them good and make sure I can look at them. I think they're good. They don't look bad. I think they're fine. Get back in there and let it soak.
good and smooth all the old greases out of them. I think they're fine. I don't see any much wrong with them. Like I say they got a little stain on them there where they're on the axle, but the bearing itself looks good. I think they're fine. These are the races that run on the, the bearings. See what they look like. I know the one on the driver's side. Oh, that, that ain't nothing wrong with them. One on the driver's side in the wheel hub. Got some, uh, some marks on it. Mm. See what it looks like. Yeah, that that's bad. That, that's gonna be replaced. Let's clean it up here and see what it looks like. Okay. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do? We'll drive these uh, drive these races out. I'll show you how I get those out. When you look through it from this direction. You look through it, you can find a low spot there. There's a little recess on there and there. There's two or three different spots all the way around it. And whenever you get on the inside of it, you'll actually get your screwdriver or chisel on the race itself. Like I say, you can look down through it, you can see it. I can do it with this little screwdriver or not. Yeah, I got a solid half inch rod here. I think I can get that in there and tap on it. Like I say, I'll hold it with my hand. Kind of work it around here. I think it's already moved, and it has. Need just a little more. There it went. Look, look at all the score marks on them. Those will be thrown in the trash. Yeah, we'll knock the other one out here. mineral spirits out of it. Oh, greed. Now I'll take an air hose and blow them out here. Now I got all my bearings cleaned out, cleaned up. And I had one on the passenger side that I thought was bad. It's got a few dark spots on it but I mean it's good and clean no rough spots it spins good that's another one I had that didn't spin good that in real good shape but I had a race that uh, was dark and I decided to change it so I'm gonna show you how I put the races in the other race is good on the passenger side this is a used one but there ain't nothing wrong with it you always put it, you can, you can tell the thick side goes to the inside. Both races should go together with a thick side to the inside on both of them. And like I say, whenever you put them in there like that, the inside of the race is tapered to match the bearing. 
So what I do, drop it in there like that, get it started, and then I'll take an old race with the thick side, match it up to my other race. Like I say, just kind of, or you know, if you had a big socket, take a big socket, go go and put it in there and tap it. I don't think I got a socket that big. But like I say, once you get it started, it'll usually tap right on in. Like I say, whenever you're tapping it, make sure you you keep the the thick side next to the other race and the reason for that if you put the skinny side against it and you're driving it down whenever you go to try to remove it you got two skinny sides together yeah i can't drive it out in case you get it down and uh you know drive because your the race is going to go in the, the hub some because see right there i'm still not all the way down you want to make sure you put the thick side down so you can remove it They, you can see the other race going on top of the other one. Should come out. Yeah. And you can, like I say, you can look at it and tell if it's even across there. And then you can look on the inside and see if you've got these little... Uh, high places that the bearing sits on it only goes so far now what we're going to do we're going to repack my bearings <clears throat> get them all done I like to use I don't guess it matter with any kind of name brand but long, long as it's high temperature grease that's what I always look for and I, I think that's a white lithium grease. Not really white, but it, it's a lithium type product. Well, the way I like to do it, start here first. I'll come in here and put a little extra grease right on the inside of my bearing race. Not on the race yet right on the inside I wouldn't put a whole lot because you'll actually push it out when you put your your spindle through and then I'll come in here and put just a little bit on my race just enough to see I got some on it and I'll do the same way on the other one the lip that I was driving on the thick part that's what I'm putting it right up against just so it'll have a little extra in case it does get hot. Maybe the grease will get, you know, if it turns to liquid, get thin, whatever. At least have something in there. And I'll take just a little bit and put on my race. Just to say I got a little in there. And I'll usually turn them up with my wheel lugs down. Usually what I'll do take a little a little bit of grease put it right in the palm of my hand right there something about like that <clears throat> and then on that little groove right there that's what I'm gonna start I'll be packing and pushing in on my grease uh, you'll see it come come out the front of the bearing here in a minute start packing and pushing packing and pushing baby You can see the grease coming out of the front of the bearing there. That's what you want. That's showing that the grease come, went in the back and came out the top. Spin it around just a little bit. Like I say, you can see it squeezing out of it there. See it coming out? That's what you want. Like I say, just work your way on around there. They make automatic greasers for this. And I've seen people grease them and not pack them in the 
needle part of the bearings, the rollers, which I don't guess you have to do it that way. But this is the way you, you know the bearing is full of grease. It's packed full of grease. I mean, you know if you've just seen people just roll them on the outside and put them in. I mean, that will work. You know it's going to get grease on the inside of it eventually. But right now, when I put it in there, I know the bearing's not dry inside. I know it's full of grease. And then what I'll do, I'll drop my inner bearing in, push it down to where it's uh, level. <coughs> You can always tell too when you get your bearing good and clean. All you see is clean grease come on, coming out. If you see dirty grease coming out, you know you didn't get all your grease out of your bearings. And you can see all that's clean coming out. So you, you know you know you got your bearing good and clean. And make sure you gotta get the water out of it. That's why I use the air hose on it. Get the water out of it and dry them off good. Now after I blew it out, I took a rag dried them off make sure there wasn't no water in there because man water will ruin these things boy well you seen what happened when i took the took that driver's side off full of water bearings are ruined i want to take my uh my seals either the ones that come out of them you can see it's still got grease inside. It ain't gonna hurt them. Main thing you want to worry about on the seals, it's got a rubber part right here. And then it's got a spring on the inside that wraps all the way around it like a rubber band. Make sure all that's still still good. All that's good and smooth. No, uh, no breaks are dried out or cut or nothing. All that's good. And what I'll do. Come in here, wipe, make sure all my grease is out of my thing. And what you want to do is put the cup side, it goes toward the bearing. I say, what you want to do is get it started. You hear how the sound changes? Tap it till it's smooth. Should be even with your your hub here. Like I say that that ain't ready to go back in other than my outer bearing. I won't put my outer bearing on it until I put my hub on my act my spindle. Do this in the same way. <coughs> go now what I like to do take a little grease put on my spindle here I wouldn't put a whole lot but just enough to show you got something on it like I say you put too much it'll all come out the back put just a little bit on it there slide your hub on Take your other bearing, slide that dude in with the tapered side to the inside, and you got a washer. Goes over that dude just like that. And you notice you got a hole. Some of them got four holes in them, or two, you know, one on the side and one on the top. This one just on the top. And your nuts got little teeth on it all the way around. Keep your teeth to the outside. Snug that dude up just a little bit. 
and that should line right up. That's me. And if you don't, you can go a little further. Go, but don't over tighten it. You don't want it over tighten. Snug it up to where it's uh, snugged up pretty good there. And my carter pin broke. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take a number eight sinker. Put that dude in there <coughs> and do a little bending on it. Heavier and harder and bigger than that. That's pretty stout. <coughs> Bend that dude up. Bend that dude up so it won't come out. And I like to put a little, little grease on the inside of my, my cap. And when I go put my cap on, don't beat it on. Might tap on it a little bit, but it's got a groove right there. Put that screwdriver on that groove, tap it a few times. Just work it on around. That's good to go. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And push that like button too. I appreciate it.